I'm a huge stinky baby with a poopy diaper. It's real poop. I put chocolate, and I seriously, I did poop in there, and it's from my butt. My name's Kyle Shields. Do you guys ever, uh, when you're at the dentist or like the hygienist and they're cleaning your teeth and they put their finger in your mouth, do you ever just like accidentally like lick it? <laughs> this is just like a, this is just a tweet. Is it? Yeah. This is actually, I, this has just happened tweet. before. It's better than tweets. It's I a TikTok. Well, I genuinely, I, okay, I, parallel thinking, I independently thought of this, <laughs> but it, 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 I feel, I just thought of it because um, earlier, Aiden took a bite of Ludwig's taco, and then he had he had sauce all over his beautiful mouth. Yeah. Uh, and then Ludwig was like, "Let me clean your mouth for you now." And he did. And he like rubbed his face, and then he was like, "Why?" And Aiden was like, "Didn't open his mouth and let him in." And I thought that was Ludwig kind of, was trying to push his napkin covered finger to. into my no, mouth. I was trying to between clean my lips the, the sauce. But why didn't you let him in? Why don't you ever let me in? <laughs> this is a let lot. Me, let from, me in more. This coming from you. <laughs> From you. Let me in more, man. <laughs> <laughs> Open up, we bro. saw We saw a great movie together last night. We, we bought did. it over that. What? You saw a movie you last saw, night? We guys went and saw a movie? Yeah, we went to Avatar at like 10, 15 p.m. Wow. And it is a three and a half hour <laughs> movie. <laughs> it's fucking long. Is it just you guys? No. no. We, uh, we, the offering guys had a plan to go. And originally it was to just take edibles. Call them, wait, call them what they are. The chuckle fucks. I would, I refuse. That's what they are. Can I rephrase it then? Yeah. My best friends and I yep. watched Avatar the way of he water. It. And the plan was to get high on edibles and watch it. And then we thought, well, what if we escalate and take mushrooms? No. Well, that was the plan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. But much like me and Kaylin, we you couldn't find it that late. In well, no. No. We have we have no. a Zipper, who's like Mary Poppins, but instead of <laughs> <laughs> medicine, it's just like an endless bag of drugs. We were, we were joking no, about, that's we were, what Mary Poppins was doing. <laughs> we, we were joking about Aiden taking psilocybin and seeing Avatar, and he's like, "Why weren't they blue? <laughs> they're, all, yeah. they're all skin being, color." Being so high during Avatar. And just like, why is the movie only human? <laughs> uh, but I didn't take him. I don't think you did either. No. I, well, who did? Uh, do you, know, you want to explain? I won't narc. I yeah. won't narc. Probably Zipper. Dude, you, you came in this today and you saw Zipper and you said, hey, you. And I was like, are you trying to fuck Zipper right now? That is such a flirty thing to say. Why can't I drop a hey you? Hey you. It's I mean, like, yeah, I heard that. I was just like, I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This tension oh my here. God. He wants to kiss him. How do I greet you? Do you want to hey you, you sometime? Say, you, know, you, you, you actually, your face falls. When you see me, your face falls into like this weird neutral state. And you go, I just lie under. And then you come up and hug me sometimes. Okay. And I thought about hugging today, but I didn't because I liked your shirt, so I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, and you couldn't what? name who was on it, which was funny. LD in yeah, Jake, Jake Paul. Um, is that Fatality? Uh, That's actually Ken Chen and Dr. Allen before they broke up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that worked, Fatality? They worked on Quake together, so that was cool. Um, I don't know. Who is it actually? It's David Lynch and Trent Reznor. Oh, they made oh, the no music mind. for the I thought that network. actually was the Quake logo. <laughs> he's, All right, yeah. He's kind of close. <laughs> yeah, I count that answer. That's, that's, yeah, that's partial well credit. Well done. Come on, baby. We get there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I didn't take the mushrooms because there was also edibles there, and I... And I Overzealously took two of them, uh, two edibles, two edibles, and they were potent. Edible. Did you even take those? No, You're just a sober Samuel. I was a sober Samuel. <laughs> so, how was your experience watching Avatar? Long, yeah. But okay, we sat in these seats, and they're 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 four D. They move. The seats are four D. They will like not it's the movie. Four D experience. The movie. That's and just so you know the fourth D is time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. In movies, yeah, you're already experiencing in that movies dimension. and branding. Movies are 2D, 3D is the glasses, and then 4D is when 4D it physically is when chair you. move, or or oh. that one Spy Kids movie where you could scratch and sniff, <laughs> or they, oh. they or they and like the water. girl avatar comes and then a pillow comes out to block your boner, uh -huh. so no one sees your boner during the movie. But you yeah. can still right. have, but you can still have, have a boner so you're to because you saw the alien girl. But everybody is covered so that you can't tell. Who has, who, who has and, and it plays the sounds Could of be everyone anybody. beating off, so you're not sure who's doing it. <laughs> that's smart, yeah. In yeah. every scene. It's like it's a Japanese not toilet. Annoying. It's not annoying. <laughs> that's, that's what Einstein said when he was writing all those theories. He was like, 4D is when chair move. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the theories. Do you uh, think there's more, more blue avatar porn or like angly avatar porn? 
100% blue avatar. It's way more no. widely seen. Yeah, I guess no. that's true. Well, I, I think the fanatics of like Avatar and people who grew up watching cartoons would rather see cartoons with penises and, and but pussies yeah. and buttholes. Right. So I think that's that's type of, that type of cartoon is more adjacent to the group of people avatar. that are oh, okay. Porn. <laughs> zipper, zipper clicks his bookmark oh, yes. to wow. 34. Wait, what? Oh, so this, oh, it's got, oh, I see, That's I see. That's not even close. No, this Wait, is good. This what? is good. So we're, on rule 34 has 19,810 entries. Yeah, it's got a and decimated. And Avatar Raw has 182? Yeah. Can you click that? That's where zipper? Blink got their name. <laughs> <laughs> click the Avatar 182. Well, oh and then it's still, it's, oh, shit. No, no, click on the bottom left one. Oh. I, I need that for research. Look what's happening. Go, oh, scroll, scroll to the right. Shit. Oh my god. It's, it's laying over <laughs> the leg and then bending down. You dick don't do that? That's tough. Wow. It looks like the bugs in the uh, in Lion Uncircumcised. King. Y yeah, yeah or they eat the tasty ones. Yeah, the or the tasty ones one. that Timon grabs. And gets <laughs> <laughs> it's the comedy relief one in Bugs Life. That's that slug yes, guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I lost. I think it's Avatar The Last Airbender now. Like after this movie, it's gonna change up. Is it this hot? This movie's kind of is it hot and wild? I, I, to get you no, crazy? Is there, no, do any of the uh, avatars squirt? So all the <laughs> all the avatars are bipedal and tall. So they like both. That's they like cool. both. And yeah. they got I'm inclusive. and they got boobs what? out. Don't, and know. they got very skin. They don't. They got boobs out. Huh? They have boobs out. Yeah, but conveniently, the cloth never moves. Have you, is you, unobtainium still in the movie? No. No, mining is out. <laughs> he mining's thinks it's out. still about mining. <laughs> yeah, no. We're not about oh, no, mining. No, we don't mine here in Oregon. We don't mine here in Oregon. This is not about like, mining. Hey, Sully stick together. Hey, Sully stick together, baby. It's the thing about us. I, anyway, I'm more left out than you right now. Because I, I put myself out there. I see. That makes sense. Here's, here's what they've switched to. And slight spoilers, which don't matter because the entire movie, oh, you, if matter. the original Avatar was like, this is my, th I wrote this. I took, I took notes while high. And I wrote them down. I'm going to write a paper. It says cornbread too. My first thought, and I wrote this in the first 30 minutes, it was avatars just rugrats all grown up and they learn how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's... P.S. Kimmy is there. Uh, that's like most yes. of my and, experience. And reptars kind of in the movie? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. Because the entire premise is that they had the Avatar people in the forest, and then there was bad guys coming again, mm -hmm. and they said, let's just ditch the forest people and try to save ourselves. Dare I say they want to learn the way of water. <laughs> so they went to the water zone, but then they just followed the people to the water yeah. zone, and so it's the same the, thing. This is, this is how I can best describe the movie. It is, it, it is Blue Planet 3 if everything was made up and then there's just the shittiest subplot underlying it all. Like, yeah. This, Do they this have the characters from the old movie in it? Yeah, yes. so the first 30 minutes, that's why I said all grown up, is they have these like prayer beads or anal beads, and then they count through them. Yeah. And then it's like, this is what happened over the past 15 years. And then it's just time lapse. So it's okay. like, we had a kid, then we got married, and then we had another kid, and we had a lot of fun hanging out. And then it's like, boom, now you are in present day, and this is going to be the next week, which is the story they tell in the movie. Yeah, okay. it was a great exercise in collegiate exposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of tell, don't show. Interesting. Was it during COVID? Which is crazy, because yeah, the movie Avatar was COVID. three yeah, hours COVID? long. Were they wearing, it was three hours. Were they long. wearing masks? Was it an allegory for Democrats? There, there were the, masks. That's why they're all blue. No, there, are, there are masks. There are masks. No. They're just there are different. Masks. Are they, are and they, they're the are they the ones that keep us down? That's what I'm saying. They're... You know? There's yeah. also these. There are in the movies. They have the you know the ones that you do when you're young and it, you snap it on your wrist. Yeah, yeah, they had those, but they were really strong and effective. But they snap were real. bracelets. They had snap bracelets for incarcerating. Snap people. bracelets, but for uh, colonialism. Wow. Yeah. I think what do you know the name of the actor who plays the main guy in both of the movies? Sam Jake Forp? Sully. Jake. Jay Sully bro. just delivers every line like he's Sam he's Worthington on That's the it. toilet. You were just so wrong. No, I said Sam. That's not so wrong. I'm wait, half right. Wait, was that the first Avatar or the second Avatar Zipper? It doesn't matter. It's the same guy in both movies. No, no, I'm in fact, about, it's also the same that, villain. That was the first one. I was because I saw Michelle Rodriguez in there who dies because uh, she's like a, she pr pretty much plays a cop and everything she's ever been cast it, in. So okay, I hate. To, okay, hey, what? Give me the fucking what's the Yelp? How many stars out of five? Ooh, 
Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> Not I, the Rotten Tomatoes or the the Yelp. The Yelp. The Yelp. If, if Avatar was the a movie, restaurant, if I'm hungers, how how good is the restaurant? I didn't yeah. get the Aiden or the experience of the other guys because we had the 4D seats that are supposed to move, which apparently were violently uh, aggressive. And yes. I never turned mine on because I just thought it was broken, and I just accepted it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, how much was your movie ticket? I HR paid for it. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I don't believe that. He lost a lot of. I love the idea of him paying for your expensive ticket and then you not using the features. Yeah, yeah. I would do that out of pettiness. <laughs> I've made HR give me like two thousand dollars this past weekend. You you calling in bets? I we did a thousand dollar bet on hungry box first day mook and i won and then we did Why would he do that best of one fox it out for dinner and that was five hundred dollars and i won and then he paid for the movie tickets which i think was probably like wow. three hundred dollars. i love i love bleeding that fucking squealing pig for every last drop wow. he has that i well, you know what i'm that, saying no, and you no, and you feel that way because i was and excited that's why he and does that's why feel that this way is the him. fucking thing you do i was excited <laughs> no, about winning a little money against my friend you're ringing you him out weird like i don't like it anymore and now i want to drink and what drips out money back and you give him back and you're and you're i want to give it back I'm not doing and that. And the I'm drops not doing are falling that. on your tongue. They're not. And they're sweet. And you're not squeegeeing the windows either. You're what? leaving it all on you're there. You're leaving it on the windows. The would be sweet. So it cakes. Yeah, because it's a little sweet, but it's a little sour too. Why is he sweet? <laughs> it's has gone. gone. And then he's gone forever. Dang. And, then, and I want to squeeze more out of him. I want to squeeze him till he's gone. Okay. Uh, wow. Aiden. Whoa. <laughs> so. What did you think of the chair? <laughs> the chair. The chair made the movie. I thought it made it better. I enjoyed the movie more because of it. I thought it, for That's you guys, your little G spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah was, you were coming your little head off. Coming your head off, dude. Yeah, you scored like, like there a is a, There's you like got a, a little switch. Level. You can click this. <laughs> there's a Sibian button. You were going. I, I was finding my way of water. I was <laughs> jealous after. I was so mad that my seat didn't work and I didn't realize it. Yeah. So that you didn't I, get the yeah. Aatrox coming out. He's like, man, I was coming. <laughs> Aatrox, you were not coming. You were not coming, Aatrox. I saw you. I've seen you come. Oh, I was you coming. You were not coming. Oh, I was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Allen's like, yeah, I was, uh, I was coming a little bit too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never tried Nick. I got to think about you it. You guys are funny. Uh, yeah, I, no, I was, I was just because I'm old. Bit. You guys saying this stuff? Yeah. You saying I'm old? Just because I'm old, that doesn't mean I can't come <laughs> in my seat. <laughs> goes, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I was coming too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was projecting. I was like, I was like, it was probably shit anyway. You guys were moving too much. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, it wasn't even cool. It's basically like a shitty soaring ride from Disney, but who gives a shit? <laughs> This is cool, man. Uh, what was your rating? The the movie? Yeah. I, I maybe like two, two and a half star. Five. Ooh, same ten. as American Ultra. Wow. This so they're movie the same. Was worse. Mm, wow. Your rating oh, you hate weird. American Ultra. But your rating system's weird. I thought you said about the same. this recently. I thought about this recently, and I think it's because my star system is not in line with what. The, the numbers actually are. It's you know how like, like yeah. three stars doesn't feel like a six out of ten? And I thought about that a lot recently. And I need to rescale. Like, we, because as a society, we need to come together and say, when we saw, call something a five out of ten, it actually means like middle, not terrible. I think yeah. movies should be graded on a scale of zero to a hundred. Who, who asked? That... A Agree that is with great. That now, I was agreeing with this, you, but that's also this, a good. You know point. I'm saying? I like him a lot. I'm I like him a lot right He's now. I'd like, I'd like if we could center like him on still. one. Center on what? We pick either you or me, whatever we're, whoever side we're choosing. Because I feel confused. I do He's zero to ten, guy. and then I add a decimal, so it's similar. Okay, I'll do like eight point three. Yeah, that makes which sense. Which is a hundred yeah. scale. That is eighty three percent. I think well, I, I am with you in that one through five is just shit. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes. People, dude, people really like it. I think I think the cool thing about the movie... 94 audience on Rotten Tomatoes, the, 78. Oh, crit. if we use tomatoes to measure, it's less. But mm -hmm. popcorn is more. Mm -hmm. Popcorn. Did you think the spectacle of the movie is what is enjoyable about it? Like, it looks fucking amazing. Spectacle. It is. It's fun to watch in the same way that, like, a really cool aquarium is fun to watch. Right. Like, it just visually looks amazing, and that was, like, entertaining enough to kind of forget how shitty the plot is if you if you turned off the dialogue it's entirely like and yeah. it was just the sound effects of the wilderness and the ocean and stuff and then like young lane is playing 
<laughs> yeah. And there's no conversation. Would you yeah, enjoy I, it? Would you I, enjoy it more? I would I might have enjoyed the movie more if I was just watching fucking fucking If uh, David Attenborough came on. If David Attenborough <laughs> was was narrating no over way over you like just said it like over that, fucking bro. Stocktown Ghost Town SB like that <laughs> that going on in the background or something. I, I think the movie failed every time it tried to drive the story. Well that was again, succeeded. this is just the first one, but it sounds like this one's way longer. This also, one is longer and there's more non like the first one there's a lot of fighting and this one is way more okay I, I wrote a few notes and one one that i think is apt is that the only reason they were allowed to call it acting performances is because they had the same girl cry again with the sad music like oh. they did in the original avatar <laughs> yeah it's the only scene where i was like oh they're acting yeah and the rest of it was just like mocap suit video game performance yeah cut scene yeah Can i, I want to ask you something uh-huh because i so many things were funny to me, and I know they were funny to you I because was you were chuckling. laughing. Oh, uh, let And them out. we we were we were all <laughs> laughing, like yeah. our, people in our group. But I noticed that a lot of other people during most of the times we were laughing were not also laughing. Right. And I left the theater, and I was like, "Damn, were we assholes? Did we ruin that movie for other people?" You in the can't theater? ask him because he doesn't well, have shame about. No, this. I think we were because I uh, at the start of it, the trailers are playing, and we have like a group, and so I stand up, and it's like right after the trailers are about to end, I go, "All right, guys, if if it's bad, pretend it's good because Avatar means a lot to me." And then everyone <laughs>, laughs because they're just fucking around. And then there's two guys who are in front of us. We're like, "Yeah, and maybe stop talking." <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, and I was like, "We are in trailers. This is trailers. Dude, that's funny." And oh, someone barked at so, you. Yeah, I mean, no that one, guy no one said anything the during the movie. Yeah. During the movie, because I think itself. it's hard to say something when people when people are laughing. But it's like there were definitely parts of the movie that are clearly supposed to be like hitting emotionally, and like our group of eight people is <laughs> is kind well, of dude. It's like it Sam up. Worthington, no, and he's sucked. like, if it sucks, it sucks. And they're all Navi, and they're all speaking with like you know their indigenous accent of the Navi people. And then Sam Worthington comes up, and he's like, it's it's fucking. It's fucking family, baby. Sully's off family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's like, what is they this? They have people from Boston in the Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, Boston PD, where the fuck are the blue people? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's just like, it, it's him talking in his, in his American accent to his son who has a, an, like an African accent, like a, like a Nigerian accent. And, uh, I, it, it it just none of the movie I, makes any I like fucking the idea sense. Of the people who told you guys to shut up are just like, God damn it, he's so right. Like, no, they yeah. were because I, I so I started laughing at the start because I do my Ludwig laugh, and then, <laughs> and then and then and then but I was conscious of it, so I was a little I was a little dulled because I didn't want to have them yeah, be mad they, at me again. Barked at you, yeah. And so but then the movie went on, and then they started laughing at the dumb shit that I would start laughing at. Because it because it just got ridiculous. Hit him with a it just got ridiculous. <laughs> Hit him with a shush. Yeah, that would be so funny. Because like, there's this thing where they well, like, it's like, hey, shut up. <laughs> they like connect with animals, and there's this whale, and this the Navi bond with the whale. Dude, I think and it's like a, it's like a, <laughs> there's like the, the first time that the whale, the, when the subtitle popped up, it, it doesn't. I I'm trying to contextualize how fucking stupid this movie is, and, and for some of it. There's this moment where there's like a whale and the <laughs> the sun bonding and they're the homies. Sun, oh, the sun like and they're the homies. Son of and they're, this is clearly like you know a direct uh, like allegory for what our relationship with like whales or wildlife in general or would Aiden be like mom. in the real world. Oh fuck yes! You can't call God, her hot damn and it. and say that. Yeah, no, I can. She's a she's a BBW. <laughs> <laughs> Big busty whale. We, we speak. <laughs> She's large and in charge. <laughs> and has a blowhole, etc. Yeah, I'll just go back to what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> she's a she's a narwhal princess. One day you're gonna look uh, my mother in the eyes. One day you're gonna look at my mother. Maybe in if the you would invite me to come over to your country, you would come with me tomorrow. You come to Hong Kong. Oh, tomorrow. She slaps you across the face. She would honestly. All your mom's lining up and just beating the shit out of me. It would be kind of fair. <laughs> all your moms. Oh, you mean us? Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant all his moms. Like you were saying, like all ten of his moms. That's <laughs> a flight of moms. <laughs> Yo, come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry, I interrupted. The whale uh, and, yeah. the, and the sun. Who's are, not my mom? Who's not yeah, your? No, not well, your I mean, I mean, the whale and the sun. We should the cut, out, the we, sun we cut out everything we said and we just keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? Yeah, uh, <laughs> whales in real life are supposed to be like really emotional and intelligent. Like some of the most intelligent 
species on Earth, like aside from us, or like depending on how you measure it, like maybe more are they emotionally than intelligent dolphins? than we are. Aren't dolphins dolphins like hella smart? Hey, no, dolphins like, in dolphin, the chest. Like, that's what I mean by like, or is it like a, like a whale? Char- 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 whale smarter dolphins. than humans. Yeah. Oh. And, and like, I wrote like, down a note and I said the whales are no, excuse me, the Navi are pets for whales. <laughs> Which is true. Dude, but I did the same thing when I was a teenager. I would get high and write stuff and be like, "This is it. I'm cracking." Well, the, the logic code. is because the whales used to run the territory, and then they outlawed murder. Like the whales, the did. whales outlawed, and the them. Navi respect that. Anyway, son bonding <laughs> with whale, son bonding with whale. They become friends. Whale saves his life. Whatever, doesn't matter. And he's talking to the whale, who clearly has some understanding of what he's saying, which I think. Tr- kind of tracks yeah but he he is new to like waterland doesn't know any of the they've made a whole show of how he doesn't know any of their sign language or like local customs in water world hasn't been there very long yet this has been a problem for him he's not able to communicate very well we're day two with the whale <laughs> and subtitles are popping up as the whale moves at him as if he can now understand him. Yeah. Like it's taking him one day to discover whale language. Yeah, he was on Duolingo. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and the first title, it's a subtitle pops up. And I know the whole idea of this franchise is like they can connect with the wildlife like through their through like the hair connection. Right. I think that I, I think that actually makes sense. It's like a telekinetic like link. I get that part. They're not doing that. The whale is just making noises and <laughs> subtitles are coming up. And he's like, like it's Japanese. And, and in the yeah. previous scene, in the previous scene, he said, I can't understand you. That's crazy. And now, and now subtitles are just flying at the screen. And I'm like crying, laughing in my seat. <laughs> I just like I, when it popped up and said, I can't understand you. <laughs> They're talking for like a couple minutes. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I think it's, I think it's worth seeing. I don't know if I would, Watch it again. I will just read out a few notes. Please and then do. Maybe I want to hear will, your inner thoughts. This will maybe convince you or not convince you to okay. watch it. Um, this movie makes me want to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Zipper liked that one. Did Zipper go too? Zipper was yeah, there. Okay, of course, of course. <laughs> Zipper is <laughs> when it was. Um, when it, breathe, zip, breathe from here. Uh, yeah, breathe from here. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy they know CPR. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was thinking? You know what I was thinking when it, when they were doing CPR was, they, see, you know that shit doesn't work, right? Like the mouth, the mouth, the mouth doesn't doesn't do anything. <laughs> they knew it though, <laughs> which is tight. Wait, what do you mean, do it? It no, mouth to mouth like doesn't doesn't work. It's like not an effective way of resuscitating somebody. Apparently, I didn't know this. Can we fact check me? This but is I, news. I've I've learned this. I'm I've learned this recently. You. I, I was gonna destroy the vibe, but I'll let I'll let you finish uh, here. Jake is a pussy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um That should have been your first note. Yeah. <laughs> why didn't he shoot the kid? I don't remember why he wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know what part that is. Okay. Why didn't he shoot the kid? Uh and then the weekend killed it. <laughs> Does the weekend have a track? Oh, that's <laughs> all my notes. The weekend is an artist in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Or is he in the movie? Yeah, no. so you he have to see to find also, out. Uh, <laughs> but he killed it. Do you, do you know, did you watch whales. you watch like the newest Star Wars movie, right? Like the newest, newest one. The ninth? Yeah. Uh, no. Wait, you're talking do about like the ninth in this trilogy? Do you know like how the, they they just like they just like, yeah, we uh we actually just have the guy back. Right, we right, actually right. just have the guy back. This movie doesn't say yeah, the same thing. thing. Yeah, they just brought back the guy. It, it makes well, no look, sense. The box office will be the, the number one teller of what really I mean, it's happens. crushing. It's made half a billion dollars That's already. A, yeah. You're lying so to my face it's now. It's not. They all made right. $476 right. million. Right. 150 million domestic, oh, 476 God. million. God, you love uh, speak, you're the singer now? Speaking of mouth to mouth, what? we we, over here. we have Come not... Finally. We never... Because this happened right after the last pod episode was fucking oh, mango fuck. at dinner. Oh my god! Yeah, dude. Oh. Tell us the story. Okay, hold on, hold on. So we we go to this restaurant that me and Atrioc have eaten at together. Uh, like me and Atrioc got lunch like two weeks before, and Atrioc he it looks at this whole menu and he's like, he's like, I don't eat fish, and a lot of it is fish. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. You should maybe try these things. And he goes, no, I'm not gonna take any of his recommendations. I'm gonna order this big fucking fish. It's literally, it comes out and it's a fish. Like it's like the like the fucking everything, like yeah. the tail and the like eyes, his eyeball, and, yeah, yeah, everything. And, I, and I'm like, all right, sure. And he he orders it, and it comes out, and it's like this dish that has like all of the fish bones still in it. So it's like the whole time he is like picking bones out of his teeth and his mouth, and it looks like it's so inconvenient to eat. 
And I'm like, are you having fun eating that? He's like, no, it's fucking, that's good. He won't admit that it's like difficult. You're talking about Atrioc or Mango? Atrioc. Okay. So, so that happens, right? Fast forward to, we get, we get dinner with Mango at the same place. And I, I, say, I make an announcement to the table. I say it like four times. I go, everyone, I don't care what you order. I'm not here to control you. I just want you to know <laughs> the intel I have. Atrioc has ordered this dish on the menu right here. It's this one. <laughs> He's ordered this dish right here. Do not order it. It's going to be so inconvenient. You're going to hate it. You're not going to like it. Like maybe the fish tastes good, but you're going to be picking bones out of your mouth all the whole night. And so Mango replies to that and goes, I want soup. And I'm like, that's great. <laughs> that, that has yeah. nothing to do with what I said not to order. That's great. So Mango, just thinking that the entire bottom half of the menu is soup, which is there's no reason to really think that. Yeah, because there's, there's like, a section at there's the like bottom a section right. Like the there's soups. a section at the bottom right that are like the uh, that, broth. Then it's just like regular dishes that are on a second part of the which menu. Which the fish is it in. So he goes, all right, I'm going to order this. The thing I said <laughs> not to order. And I say to him before he walks away, I'm like, that's the thing I said don't order. And he looks at me and he goes, I just want soup. And I'm like, it's not soup. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, whatever, I'll like it. I don't care. And I'm like, all right, fuck, it's in your hands, whatever. I told, I gave you everything. Are you we need. just bad at food? Like the bone <laughs> situation. Is there someone who's just like, and all the bones uh, are gone? No, this is common. If you get like a fish at this, at spots like this, you do have to sit there and pick them out. But like, this happens. certainly there's a way to pick them out. Yeah. That's efficient, effective, quick, and not a pain in the ass. I think it depends on the type of like restaurant you go to, like the way it's prepared yeah i don't know i mean i'm sure if you eat it every day you get really good at picking them out but you mm -hmm. know who are we well i want to kill it so bad it's it it? flying right here i Why don't know to be angry oh it's above your head now also, we we got a bunch of uh, idea, appetizers we got a bunch of appetizers at this place we just <laughs> or that i don't know just a bunch of different food but there's a bunch of things that mango has never tried before and we're like you should try it like have a bite and he's like only if aid makes me a bite yeah, he, and I he have wouldn't get unless I even prepared him a bite I, and fed it to so him. So I'm feeding Mango different appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> What's like an example of one that he like, never had? Like he never had a uh, tuna like, tartar. Like tuna, mm. we we got like tuna tartar. So we, like I make him a little bite on like a chip, and I like boop, put it like that's <laughs> so that's so sweet. It was that warms funny. my heart. So 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 we keep going. He orders his fucking fish, and he's eating it, and he, I'm watching him pick all the bones out, and I'm like, I'm in my head, I'm like, you're so stupid, like it, you just didn't listen, and. And then eventually he gets a like a cartoon character. He gets a bone stuck sideways in his throat, <laughs> like it's here, and he's, it's, he's like, <laughs> and, and you see it bouncing around, and and, I'm, and he's like, he's starting to go like, ah, oh, there's a bone in my throat, and I'm like, yeah, bitch, of course there's a fucking bone in your throat, you <laughs> fucking idiot, because you don't, you just swallow food, you don't chew, you don't listen to me either, and uh, I, and I'm I'm berating him, I'm like, you didn't listen to what I said. He's like, I didn't listen to you, and I'm like, I know, I'm telling you, you didn't listen. You're, you're not even listening now, and and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, so he keeps he, he keeps trying to get this bone out and he's trying different weird methods. He's like he's, he's like, doing anything but what you would do yeah, fucking normally, anything by the way. But what he's, actually this works. This whole dinner, this whole dinner, he's been fucking he's been like Ben, Ben, we gotta get some sake. Ben, we gotta get some beer. Yeah, he's force feeding he's, alcohol he's, that he's, he's just and he won't so Ben Ben's along for the ride. He's he's only drinking alcohol. Then he gets the bone stuck. And he has a he still has a beer, sake, and a glass of water he has not touched all night. And the bone is stuck in his throat. He keeps complaining about it after Nick has reprimanded him. And I'm like, dude, drink water. What would any normal human being in this situation do? Drink the water. He's like, I won't drink it. He's like, I'm not, like, I'm not a bitch. I'm not a bitch. I, and I'm like, dude, yeah. you're choking. It's nothing to do with that. He's and like, I'm not a bitch. That's I, crazy. At some point, he gets on the wave that he's like, he's like, Aiden, you got to. You got to blow in my throat, Aiden. <laughs> yeah, he's not you saying I need CPR. He's saying, Aiden. Morty, Morty you got to. He's you like, Aiden, you got to blow in my throat. And I lean over and I say, Aiden, as the resident bisexual, you need to do this. <laughs> and, and Mango goes, Aiden's bisexual? Oh, you're definitely blowing down my throat. <laughs> and, and Aiden's like, I'm not going to blow down your throat. And, like, like, and we're all I, talking about how Aiden's what, fucked up. And eventually I cave. I even caved. I'm like, I will blow in your throat if you just drink a glass of water. Wait, can, can Please the try the, the water. That he wants you to like push the bone. He wants me to dislodge. With, right. He wants me to <laughs> dislodge the bone in his esophagus by blowing into his mouth. Like so that is his plan. Like Navi, and he works. refuses to drink so water. So instead of trying anything that we tell him, we, we keep suggesting things. And if anyone says try drinking sake, he drinks it. But if anyone says drink water, he goes, no way. That is insane. So, so he starts to Google. You would die from stubbornness. Like you would just. Yeah. He, would he just starts die. to Google. What do you do when you're choking? 
And one of it's like try eating more food to push it down. One of it's like try drinking soda to like break it down with acid. And I have a soda on the table and I'm like, here, Mango, the thing you just read that you that you know is good. Do it. Do it now. And so he takes the soda. He holds it and he goes, no, gives it back to me. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Why? What is wrong with you? Why did he say why? No, no, he just didn't. He wouldn't explain anything. He was like, just take it back. You can't you can't lead him to water. And the whole night he gets in more and more excruciating pain. And he's like, no, no, I feel it going down. I feel it. And we're like, okay, <laughs> way down. So we're like kind of ignoring him at this point. Cause it's been like 20 minutes and he's not doing anything to help himself. Yeah. I finally order a hot, like a hot water from the desk. I'm like, maybe warm water will relax his throat. It'll go down. I am like, here's your hot water mango. And he's like, I'm not drinking that. And I'm like, that is the last attempt <laughs> I make to help you. That was my last attempt. Dude, he went to the and ER. He is wasted. He is fucking hammered. He's, so, he's very he, drunk. He, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is my goat. He starts, he starts to look at me in bed and he's like, you guys think I'm drunk, huh? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes. That has nothing to do with you choking, but absolutely. I'm, I'm at Show the end of the picture. night. Show us a picture. Show us a picture. Oh, oh yeah. It's on, it's on his Twitter zipper of him. So eventually, Mango, uh, he needs to take an Uber home. And I'm making sure that he doesn't get fucking hit by a car. Because he's like, he's like calling the guy in, uh, in the Uber. <laughs> and he's like, where are you? And I, I don't think that, it doesn't matter what the guy even says to him. He's just like, huh? <laughs> he's, like, he's not hearing a word he's saying so i'm just corralling mango i'm making sure he, he's, he keeps crossing the street without waiting for the signal so i'm like making sure he gets across and shit and then uh he finally gets into his uber i, I make sure he gets home and then he goes to the fucking er yeah that that night he posts a picture on twitter and it just says like fucking like aiden did this to me or something yeah, yeah. I, went, I went home so i'm just literally seeing like kind of just like tweets here and there and then there, and then it's just like Mango in the ER. He's just like, "This is Aiden's fault." And I'm like, "What happened? <laughs> How? I can't believe you did that to him." He just, this is I. And now it's, and then by the end of the night, I'm almost gaslit into thinking this is my fault. By the way, <laughs> I am like, I'm like sitting That's why there, he's one of us. and I'm wondering, one like, should I have, should I have blown down his throat? <laughs> <laughs> thank God, thank God, I got bailed out the next day. Doctor Noodle Slam comes into my DMs unprompted. I hate you, Aiden. He's in an ER yeah. bed, <laughs> looking in like my he's shirt. suffering in in the shirt with my face oh on my it. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny. And, uh, uh, Doctor Noodle Slam told me that uh, if it's in his esophagus and he's breathing okay, he just needs to go to the ER. If it would have been funny though, if you blowed down his throat and perforated his esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> which is he, apparently he definitely would have blamed which you. is apparently the risk of you create uh too much like pressure and their their esophagus just tears so good thing i didn't fucking do it yeah but you know what you should have because your friend asked you to yeah you also no, you, you didn't also, know that you're just a dick yeah you're being an asshole right <laughs> don't, now. don't yeah fuck you no i had an <laughs> idea it <laughs> might you, be lovely. bad uh that's really funny yeah mango almost died that was almost over from a fish I mean, I feel like it, when Mango goes down, or or I th honestly, one of us, it, it should be from something as minor as a fish bone. Or a fish like, yeah. Also, yeah. ever since this night, because we drove to the restaurant together, he put on a tongue tied by Group Love, and he just <laughs> DMs me the lyrics to the song. <laughs> like, That's really Like funny. every day, I get a Mango DM that says, "Take me to your best friend's house." <laughs> <laughs> That's like he has a crush on you. Yeah. <laughs> That was cute. Dude, we, uh, me and Aiden went and saw The Whale, uh, the Aronofsky movie. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and it was really sad. And we come out, and I'm like, I'm like fighting back tears. I'm like, damn, that was fucking really sad. And I'm, I'm like choked up a little bit. I'm walking out. And this guy comes up to us and goes, can I just shake your hand? And in my head, I'm like, like because we're warriors who made it through the movie? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, kind of like in my head, like, yeah, yeah, sure, man. Like we did it, and then he was a yard fan. Oh yeah, yeah that, that was his sense. way of just saying like hi. That's and, and, so and funny. In my head for like a while, I was like, this guy and me, or we You're both like, made it through. Yeah, I, I am based for watching that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I, just, I wanted to say at the end of the movie talk because I, I thought it was funny. When I was, uh, I saw a movie called My Dog Skip by with Frankie Muniz. Mm -hmm. Where the dog uh, gets hit with a shovel. <laughs> the original at, shovel dog. At the end, <laughs> no, don't oh. say that. It's at the end, and then uh, and then the dog dies because it's a movie about. It's like it dies of old age. Because shovel beats dog. Shovel beats and dog it, and shovel yeah. type is three X to <laughs> dog type. And um and I remember that we went with like it was me and two of my friends and like one of our moms like took us to see this movie and uh, this kid is just crying like in our friend group. His name is Dylan. And he's just crying his head off. And he's like, it reminded me of my hamster. And we're walking outside of the movie theater. I'm like eight, maybe nine, ten, whatever. I'm like embarrassed. 
Because you're like, with him? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, we got to go. Like, this is, dude, it's a movie. You're a born hater. <laughs> I was a born you're a hater. You're a, was so a bad. decorated hater. Oh, my God. If anyone thinks I hate for the fuck, for like the fucking cloud or something, don't even start, bro. <laughs> no, one, no one thinks that. Well, no, some people do no. think that. They think, that, I, they think the that it's a whole bit. Fucking born to hate, bro. It's also not, not something that's better. Like, not a bit, I, I, yeah, <laughs> it just means it I'm might authentic. even be worse. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. You're being yeah. an asshole right now. You're being fucking asshole right now. You're on. You're on the line. Just took your corner. I'm not an asshole though. <laughs> okay. You're getting there. I'll Insane. Take that. I'll take that. What would he hate about the whale, which is not a movie about my mom? <laughs> <laughs> what that's would he hate Brendan about Frazier. it? Because you, Aiden's mom. You're asking what he'd hate about it. Yeah. What, what, it, isn't it like an artful movie? Don't I love art? Uh, I don't know. You hated Black Swan. I did hate Same Black director. Swan. Yeah, I had a, I had a crisis though. I was sitting there watching Black Swan. And I'm like, Duh, I think this is stupid just because I don't really care about dancing. Like, <laughs> is this just whiplash <laughs> for girls and Dude. I'm being an asshole? And I had to <laughs> think about that. <laughs> it, it, well, I, I'd argue because of the timeline, whiplash is I, I, is I, Black I, Swan for boys. That's exactly. Yeah. And it's like, am I am I not opening my mind to this idea <laughs> of something that I can't connect with? So I think it's stupid. And I thought about you'll it a lot. I still think ray. it sucks. And you'll never play a. What did you say to you'll me? You'll never pot a boo ray. I have dancing feet. I have dance. Look at my arch. So look at my arches, so you piece of shit. He's look got at my great fucking arches. arches now. He's got great arches. Look at them. I have bigger arches. That's part of why you can't squat. About dancing, I have bigger arches. You have to get low. Ooh. No, what is that? Mic this punishes you more than us. <laughs> we did a we did a question on the advice show very recently. How do I related to ballet? And we were talking about like. Wanting something so badly that you'll you'll do or like sacrifice you'll like anything ruin your, in the process. your health and happiness over achieving yeah, to, it. Yeah, to reach the end goal. And I was like, like literally in Black Swan, she is doing that. And then I was like, wait, oh, Spoiler yeah, alert. that's what happens at the end of Black Swan. I remembered what you happened. Guys just recalled Black Swan. I remember how <laughs> Black Swan ended, like in the yeah, middle like, of I'm answering just... the question. <laughs> and I was like, maybe don't do that. Actually, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Just devote your life to it until like you have an untimely death. Like I think that's probably the best course of action, and like maybe people remember that for de decades. Yeah. yeah, that's why we still talk about Black Swan, and we don't talk about the other girls. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't talk the about advice the was really funny because like because like it started off with like us giving our perspective on like like throwing all of yourself at something at the expense of your health, and then I and then I read the person's age, and it was like. Like the person writing it was seventeen. Oh fuck! And I was like, ah, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I did? Uh, have, a, have a good adolescence I'm like, first. Ah, go to prom. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy prom. Enjoy Make beautiful college. memories with your friends. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, I was going to uh, zipper. I sent you a picture of Aiden. If you could pull it up, this is this is funny because we did. Uh, we just got off the heels of the Scuff World Tour as a sixteen-person melee tournament. Put and together ultimate an ultimate tournament. tournament. An ultimate tournament. Sorry, running concurrently, which is crazy that we didn't know that you could do that on the same channel. Uh, until yeah yeah good we, feature uh this is aiden wow. Be becca took this photo which is why it looks very very pretty and hilarious because aiden looks like he's fucking from a war <laughs> but this is just how he always sits and a i think 1819 in the bunker world war yeah this is so interesting because like this was pretty low stress tournament right everyone was there it was double limb it wasn't a big deal it was one day yeah okay the vibes were amazing everyone's having a good time but you still look like you are one one bullet away no that's that's accurate to how aiden's felt the past two weeks is that true i want your insight here aiden yeah i think it's mostly I think it's mostly just because it's on the tail end of like a bunch of stuff. It was like, okay, this is the last thing, and that's that's. But I feel like you look like this a lot. Uh, no, not those eyes. <laughs> I was gonna say not those eyes. Okay, okay, okay. That is that is exactly Falco's eyes. This is the face of a man who needs to hold so like he needs someone to hold him. He's yeah, holding you're himself. holding yourself, dude. This you need for three to just pet your head. He was, uh, in, <laughs> he was in this chair most of the day, and then I sat in his chair because I needed to log into Stream Elements. And while I was there in the short, like, three minutes, someone walked over from production, and they're like, hey, Aiden, what's the next match coming up? And I was like... To you? Yeah, because <laughs> I think of uh, the bleach hair. Me versus Mango. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, I can do this. I was like, um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> let me pull it up. And then I pulled up, like, this spreadsheet, and it shows every match in every time slot. I was like, here it is, like, it's supposed to be, like, in-game versus... Did you do the Aiden voice? Yeah, yeah, and then he's like, and then he's like, he's like, all right, like, can I have access to that? And I'm like, let me check. And then I pull up like the thing and it shows that it's being shared with all of the production team. I was like, ah, I think it should already be shared with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, someone there that didn't know you. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Someone on production. They knew Aiden and not you. 
Wait, no, they didn't because they couldn't recognize Aiden. They, they, knew, they Aiden knew Aiden was, was Guy Rogers. They knew that's the Aiden chair. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really funny. Yeah. So I cry. And uh, you know what? And you reported, you, right? you, you reported stop. a match. Yeah, I reported I gotta a match. What? I reported a match. You got to stop. Like acting like it's hard. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Didn't, running I didn't, tournaments. I didn't is say easy, it was hard, bro. I didn't say thank it was hard. You, thank you. Thank you for finally what, saying that all you do is cap. All Aiden? you do is cap. I didn't say it was hard. All you hard. do is say, "Hey, can you come?" And then say three one. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 see you're yoking right now. Yeah. But I I actually think that about like this style of tournament. Well, yeah, this I one is easier the, for sure. This, also, you don't the have to pre pro like, like that oh, helps. Hmm. It's the run up. It's the getting the flights, the players, the hotels, the people yeah. to do at the venue. Well, it's team. also a big stressor is offloading the actual the production, the broadcast to a team like Juno's Waveforms. Yeah, which is like that's, that's a huge. That's probably the most intense turnaround <clears throat> is like planning a large ish scale production on the timeline that we had, and Waveform headed up by Juna manage all of that, and that's the most. It's the same thing with boxing. Like although boxing was a very difficult event, regardless of the production side, but like the monumental part of the effort that goes into like executing the show that you watch is the production team. And they, they are planning out and doing all of that. And it's the same goes for this where I, uh, you just put it in their hand, you delegate. Yeah. And Impressive. this was just a double ELM tournament that ran one set at a time. I was worried about some stuff for like the first few hours, which was kind of a pain, but after that it ran smooth. But I think I'm, I go into this fucking mode where like there, where I'm just like, I feel like something has to be wrong, so I'm like clicking through tabs, the uh, pacing around, like thinking. <laughs> yeah, of, yeah, you look insane. Yeah, <laughs> that's the three juvies. That's what that's doing to you. I did t only did one and a half juvies. Don't say did to juvies. Yeah, yeah I did. I did, some, I did some juvies. <laughs> like they're blunts. Yeah. yeah. I, Dude, I, I, I I've, hate that I've shit. had. I've been. I've. I've had coffee my entire life with like no real effects. So I've had coffee before bed, gone to bed nicely, all this stuff. But I, I never drink energy drinks. I haven't had I haven't had a like a dr sip of an energy drink until or since like I don't know maybe like middle school or something. And uh, our fridge is full of fucking juvie right now because we had to take photos of it. So I was like, it was like 10 p.m. the other night, and I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'll just drink this thing that's here. I don't have coffee. And I drink a juvie, and I didn't feel awake, but it was impossible to sleep. And I literally stared at the ceiling until like 5 a.m. It's interesting because really? yeah, I just the... stayed there. I was like, I can't, I just can't go to bed. You had the one at uh, what's it called? You said it didn't affect you. The one at the, the shoot? half. But I think it was because it, it was extra in the daytime. Bowl. Like, like oh, I, I didn't feel any more awake. Like I was exhausted. But it just like if I tried to sleep, I just, my brain was just like vibrating. I'm like, oh, can't fall asleep. Can't do it. But I was really tired. Dude, you want to hear about people not sleeping? You want to know why Josh Man didn't get any sleep? Mm. Wait for what? For the tournament, he had no sleep. <laughs> Why? Yeah, why did Josh have no sleep, man? I, I'm driving to, uh, where was I going? I was driving somewhere, uh, and I get a call from Josh, man, and I, I hit the hands free, and he's like, hey. I'm like, what's up? He's like, can I take this Adderall that's on the fireplace? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what sure, time is man. it? I don't care. Uh, this was, this was like in the morning. This, or like 11, uh, like, like, oh, okay. Before, before noon. And, uh, I was like, uh, yeah, sure, because I don't take it anymore because I had heart palpitations. It wasn't because the Adderall, but it was just my heart in general was kind of weird. You're off Adderall? Yeah, I've been off it for- How long? Yeah, he's been off it for age. Four months. Whoa. But I can't take it anymore. Whoa. It's like, Do you I, feel different? I just- it's, Are you back to nappy bears? I'm a nappy guy. It's also like, it's harder to focus, but it did help me like learn how to refocus without it, which is a good thing. Mm. Uh, it also was nice to feel like I don't ever, I don't need it. Like when I got off it, I was like, <sighs> I, I wasn't like, oh, I need this shit to, to come back to normal. I was like, oh, okay, I'm just not. I don't need to take it. Hear that, which kids? Is, which just feels not addictive. You don't need to take. That's it. not true. Not <laughs> you should take at all. It just means that I literally it's, have ADHD. You can stop whenever you want. And, 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 got addicted and lost his whole career. And, and, is and, that and, what it, happened? It affects uh -huh. me in a way that is healthy instead of like meth. Uh, so either but way, we bought a new car. Your mileage may vary. So anyway, <sighs> I don't take anymore. I still have some yeah. um, because you know I just had to stop taking them, but I still kept it. And they're the Extendos. They're twenty milligrams, which is ten and ten. So it's like an eight hour, 10 milligram, like ride, which is like not crazy. It's I've like, taken yours once to do the podcast yeah. after like a 24 hour stream. 
And you were you were kind of you were effective. Up. You were up. <laughs> it was an effective drug. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> and I, I, I feel like I'm my dad in a lot of these situations where if someone asks, I just gotta say yes. Not that like is not what a dad is like. I no, don't my think, dad. Oh, okay. Because I, I was like, I'm like a dad. Like, I just when, say when, yeah. Dude, when I started smoking <laughs> weed, I would go like my dad found out, and I'd be like, Dad, can I like can I, like have some of the weed? Can I, like I, like roll a joint? And he's like, Yeah. Like, what's he gonna say? No. He's smoking yeah. weed too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's going to say no. Yeah. He's I mean, like, he, this is dad stuff. Yeah. It's, and no. it's like, so I have this like problem in my mind where my son, Josh, is like, hey, can I have this? And I'm like, I mean, look, I'm fuck yeah, sure. And I was like, uh, you're going to want to take it <laughs> Drastically now. Drastically different, by the way. This is, Josh is an adult. So it's yeah. like, you can make an adult decision. Yeah. yeah your dad adult. telling you to roll a joint when you're a kid. He didn't is, tell me to. He said I could. He said, and then he said, this is how you do it, by the way. <laughs> he, did, <laughs> he did show me. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he was based. No, that you're right. Based. This is one to one. <laughs> Either way, uh, he calls me up. He's like, hey, can I take this? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. I was like, all right, it's, it's going to last for eight hours. So you're going to want to take it like right now. And drink a lot of water because it'll dry you out. And uh, yeah, go for it, man. You know, be be easy, God. <laughs> and uh, and he did. He takes it. I come home. He's like, I clean my room. I uh, I practice melee like all day. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to. I'm ready to play. And I'm like, oh fuck. Uh, and so so he takes <laughs> it. And then he drinks a coffee at like 8 p.m. Like probably when it's like wearing off. And he just can't go to sleep. And he literally, I, I wake up in the morning because we had to go early for talent stuff. And he was going to show up early as well to the tournament. This is on Saturday. Uh, and then Sunday is the tournament. Wake up in the morning. He comes into my room. It's like nine. My alarm goes off. Cause he always does. He's like, hey, Joshi Ben is here. Let's go get coffee. And he's like, I didn't sleep at all. <laughs> like, Bro, it's game day. He's like, I oh, know. It's going to be bad. But he's like, he's still kind of wired. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? How does this happen? <laughs> he also had a tough bracket. Who did he lose to? It was like Juan. And yeah, it was Juan and Plup. Yeah. Two honorable losses. It was yeah. insane because Fiction turned it up and beat You Plup. hate him. Juan? No, Josh Man. Mm. Why do you hate Josh Man? Why do you want Josh Man to be last losing to Juan and Plup? No, man. Make him play Indian. Just a tough bracket. <laughs> make him play Indian. That's not how CD works. Oh, you get to make the rules. I True. don't make the rules actually. Well, you actually, I actually do make the seating. You and literally make the seating and the rules. But I pawned it off. Oh, oh yeah, you did to the team. <laughs> <laughs> now that I got your attention, <laughs> Ludwig, take Zipper, us away. Zipper was like, <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig, take it from here. If you don't know by now, we have a proud sponsor of the stream, Factor. All it's a ready to eat. Oh. God, you are such a you're, factor. You're a husk we of a are man. doing a podcast. Hey, I'll, I'll I'll show you I'll show you speed. Uh some of the Lama you assuming I'm a human. That's M M. Realize, realize factor. Already to eat meal <laughs> delivery service. They shop, prep, cook, and deliver to your door. Hey, so and you it's can ready to eat in two minutes. Joy, Joy, Chef. Chef. Wait, shut up. Just shut, everyone stop it. Shut up. Okay. What? I'm hungers. <gasps> Do you understand? Hunger? Don't touch my foot. Oh, Jesus. What if, what if I, I you told know, you? Slime privately told me that he could never go back to living in a closet because once he tasted <laughs> the joys and wonders of factor I'm meals, gonna, I'm gonna he will never switch yeah. back. I'm going to kill you in your sleep. You know what he, you know what he ate lovely that changed his mind? What? It was the pancakes and sausage. Wait, yeah. hold on. <laughs> he has been talking about how he loves that <laughs> sausage from factor. <laughs> Turkey, <laughs> chili, and zucchini was what changed my life, but I could still live in a closet and I could still live on the street oh, if I wanted to. The nice oh, part is that you just wait, heat it up. What if you did on a microwave? What if you didn't have a microwave in the closet. You for can these meals. do it in the oven. You could do what it if in you the didn't oven? have an oven in and the you closet. You can cook for these it meals. over an open flame of a barrel. Yeah. And here's the facts of the matter. Oh, Ludwig, I'm keto. They have that. They have that, idiot. you fucking if idiot. If you're vegan, you if you're veggie, idiot. they got 34 different meals and plus. We keep it in. We keep it simple if for you're you. Pes- go to, if you're pescatarian, hey, go to um, factor. You, you no, no, you, you messed it up already. Go to Head go, 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 go to dot, dot factor. factor. 75.com no, 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 no. slash the yard 60. Why is there two numbers? It is insane. This is like Factor, a- we keep every week we ask for a better link. This Factor. is a PlayStation 2 RPG title. Why uh, let me, is there one more time. Hey, let me, let me hey, say it right. Go to, go to Minecraft and type in the seed go.factor75.com slash the yard 60 and build a house there. Yes. Yeah. Just, uh, just go to Factor's website and use promo code the yard 60. <laughs> it's because it gets 60, <laughs> I almost threw up from that. 60% that was so gross. Off. Off. Yeah. Your this first is us box. Selling and what do you get? Product. What do you get? You get 60% off your f- first box, which is ironic because my first box was 60 years old. You That's actually. Wow. You actually. Are you okay? <laughs> what? Was that. 
<laughs> so you anyway, want to talk about it? Back, back, oh, you actually get the, it for free if you use log me in Hamachi. I was 16 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to man. the podcast. All right, back to the pond. I told this story on broadcast, on, on stream yesterday, but I lost a shit ton of money playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, like yeah. Side bets? What, what was this? No. Uh, I went to uh, an offline TV holiday party, and uh, and I showed up late because it was right after the Germa thing, which was which was dope. I don't know if you guys saw the Germa so thing. It was so sick. Yeah. I saw some of it. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. tight. It was, funny was seeing, it was so funny seeing all of like the Beyond the Summit rooms and then Germa in them. It was weird. <laughs> I don't know how to describe <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, walking I, through the hallway that way you used to like walk it, down. It, it was I like love. when Timmy Turner was in the Jimmy Neutron episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Jimmy That's how I felt because <laughs> we're in like the right subsection of Twitter. Where I can see all the posts that are excited to see Ringler on a Germa stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do see my clip I was on because I went to Hassan's because he wanted me to do unbans with yeah. him. And he's watching the Germa thing right when I get there. Yeah. And I posted a clip on which I was like, is that Ringler? <laughs> the best and donkey then I tell 30,000 Hassan viewers that hit, that's the best Donkey Kong player in the world. We were, we were watching it in the living room and, uh, and I, I, I go, Z Zipper 2 is like, is that Ringler? And I'm like, Yep, that's Ringler. And she's like, huh? And I'm like, he's only fans now. I can see I can see it in her eyes. She's like, Am I asleep? <laughs> she's like, What's going on? Oh, by the way, he's tricking you out. I got turned out. You fucking out. switched. Bro, he's turning you out. I, dude, he, you gave me so much did, shit I for did. getting turned out. I did. And, and look at you. I know. Two podcasts on fear and here's and how it works. And he's tricking Let, you out on every stream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Podcast episode. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you. Pubes. Let me tell you. <laughs> they're dyed blonde now. <laughs> we'll the we'll mohawk down the middle. We'll have demanded it. No, it, it, this is how it works. And now I understand Ludwig's plight. But Ludwig, I always thought was doing it out of a out of a, a shill. Uh, it's like, different when I do it. Dot com. No, it's not different. <laughs> it's I'm saying it's not different. I assumed it was when he did it because he just needs his butt to be filled at all times. Yeah, his big. Filled butt. You need his big nasty filled butt with like. This juice. is homophobic. It's not homophobic. <laughs> no. It's just what you need. <laughs> Thanks, oh, say Thanks, <laughs> it's just what you need because you need it. And so, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm at a sans. We you, you want to stand by that one. You want to stand by that one. No, stand, right now, right now. You stand by me now. He needs right it. now. Stand by he needs the juices in him because you need it. <laughs> All right. All right. No, 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 we know where you sit. <laughs> you switched after dating Goro for so long. <laughs> yeah, you've become way more homophobic. No, okay. I go, I go to on stream. I do the unbanned forms. It was fun. And then after, he's like, okay, Will's coming over, and Cutie's coming over, and Andrea's coming over, and we're going to do the pod. And then he asked me live, oh, hello. He spilled water on the grass. Watering the grass. It's he, right. he asked me, he's like, do you want to do the pod? And I'm like. How many is that? Five, six? Uh, it's like at the do you six. Wanna you want to hook up? Yeah, it was, dude, it was like, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not doing anything. And like, he's kind of tall. So it's like, <laughs> and, and he just, he asks you. And then I was like, ah, you know what? Like, you know me, like I, I get burnt out quick. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired. And he's like, you don't have to do it. It's cool. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't have to. And then I'm like, <sighs> but like, maybe it'd be good for the yard and like, maybe good for my career. He kind of smells nice too. <laughs> look, at you, look at you, you fucking turned out. And that's, and that's the thing about you. You switch. I didn't switch. It's cool, you gave, it's cool you to gave see, me so much shit. It's cool to see I them did. have uh, have Will as a guest too. Yeah, that's that's the running joke for sure. <laughs> I also I, I put a concept up. I was like, let's marriage counsel this, and I got them to work through their issues because they need fucking podcasters to fucking help them out. Uh, but it was fine. But that's what I'm saying. It's like he asks you, and you're like, I guess I don't have anything going on, you know. And then he and then he fucking he says, pop those pants off, brother bear. Yeah. And then he fucking. I guess I do want to hook up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, I was so on you, there. So you, you, you. But I did it for us. No, you know, no, no. And you're sorry for what you no. said to me no. weeks ago. Now. But 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 I oh. you know, I I have because oh, Mushy Hassan has it's lately. Like, uh, it's like a butterscotch snack pack. He's not squeezing. He doesn't it's know. Like jello. You can never know for sure. It's like it's like tapioca. It's big and strong. It's like tapioca. I think he's strong. Ah, uh, I could arm wrestle you. Be pretty good. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of arm wrestling now. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like when Kobe died. I literally was like, I'll just never go on a helicopter. Yeah, again. I'll be happy. Never drive. Never being in one of those for the rest of my life. Now I'm like, Ugh, arm wrestling. Yeah. Do I care that much? S.A. Nick just in the sky, fifty percent transparency. Um, oh, I did it for us. Like, look, a lot of people are gonna watch that show. They're gonna be like, Ooh, yeah. the yard. I bet that's funny. No, I bet I'm he's the number one and two most viewed Pure episodes. But I helped 
True. <laughs> so true, so true. I, so I will say, I sit here now before my friends and I say, I'm sorry. I said you got turned out like a nasty little bear. Because you needed it. Because you needed it so bad inside yeah, of just, you. We'll end it at the first And I'm part. sorry I said that you- I'm about to raise a flag you, on the play. That you need to be filled like a juice pitcher. <laughs> hey, flag, flag, flag. You flag. need to be filled up like a- like Flags a big, up, flags up, like flags up. Like a big, yellow, like Re a big old. Ref's talking. It's all like, yellow. It's all talking. You got to pull one more. <laughs> I uh, can just keep giving yellows these days. Yeah, in the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I gave you oh, shit. wait, is it two yellows and it's a red? It's two yellows right? are out. Yeah. Two yellows is a, is a red. Um, I, because Hassan lightly mentioned coming on the podcast at some point to, uh, Azan. to me and, and to Nick. Azan. Azan. And, uh, I am excited. Because I have always wanted to talk about politics with Hassan, but I'm scared because I think I will be outclassed. What? He what? doesn't know is shit. It, is, yeah, I'm, don't I'm worry, we won't let you guys talk about that boring shit. We'll yeah, have, why we'll would have, we we'll have a fun podcast. That. That, that would be insane. I, I watched his one episode he did with uh, Chapo, and I was like, this is, that's what I want to do, man. Really? Yeah. Is that your aspirations? I, I think, think it's just fun to talk. I, I think I like talking about that stuff. Also, we need more, we need more women on this show. That 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 opened my eyes. Mm, Will Neff. <laughs> also, he gave me juice on Michael Barbaro. My Michael Barbaro hate <sighs> is totally validated because there's tweets from way back. Michael Barbaro's like like narking on homeless people in the New York subway, telling the cops to come get them. No. Yeah. Michael. Yeah, see if you can find it. Zipper. I guess he just wants to like clean up the streets, dude. It's so. F I said it, and his son instantly is like, "Bro, you gotta see this." And I was like, "I knew it. I knew he He's sucked. just he just believes gonna, in safety." I'm gonna message Michael on Twitter again for context. I invited Michael Barbaro to come on the yard. I sent him a fat DM. That like, uh, it's like, come on the show, maybe. That was because I yeah, thought you it was were funny. going for that. You were stumping the daily. I don't know how it compares to like Rogan because it's on two different platforms, but the daily is like the biggest podcast in the world on Apple Podcasts. Smaller than Jones. smaller than Rogan, Jones. Definitely. smaller than Joan, but, but, definitely. But it is the biggest because Michael doesn't take fucking psilocybin pills and talk and it's about the third dimension. <laughs> Also, charts hey, are... It's him, the, it, him and Sabrina. We're Sabrina Tabernese fans I'm now. I'm down for Sabrina. Tweet at Michael. Say, you're no longer invited, Sabrina. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to message Michael. Let I'm Sabrina like, you're know, out. She's Sabrina's invited. in. That'd be great. Yeah, I would love Sabrina charts are dumb, the way they work. Why? Yeah. Because they're all curated. So, Sabrina like, number one Tabernese. doesn't necessarily mean the most listeners or mm. most fans. It's just, like, Spotify yeah, is, like, that annoying. one. You don't know. Andrea said she listens to the yard sometimes. You don't know. Really? really? Cool. Yeah, I was so surprised. Wow. But I was like, that's so nice. Dude, I got, I got that chess boxing. I got a DM from uh, uh, Alexandra, and she was like, hey, my dad apparently gave his bag to a Nick, and I don't know which one. That's a hard problem. And I, and I thought, I was like, I'm like, this is really funny, because it could be one of like seven Nicks. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, what? There was somebody in the, in the comments after the last episode, and we had a whole anecdote about Nick Allen fucking something up. Oh, it was about the tickets. It was about yeah, the yeah. tickets. And then the, the, the VIP uh, and, shit. and then this person in the comments just goes off on you, yeah, thinking that it's a lot of people think you I'm who Nick made Allen. the mistake. That's I was like, really... I, I, I get that a lot. I love what you did with LCS. Yeah, thank and you. And I think that you should be given medals. Thank you. You were <laughs> also your two kids are so beautiful. I know, I love them to death. <laughs> your peach is bad though. Well, look, that's a given. Ice cream was fine. <laughs> Anyway, I was at an offline TV holiday party. Yeah, oh, right. you know yes. what's funny? Real quick, sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, this is crazy. No, no, no. no, 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 no you want to be happened. filled up. Wait, let's yeah, go back you to you getting went filled to offline up. offline TV holiday party so you could get fucking filled to the brim like, a, like a jar of ice. Andy, Fine. 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 Finish it. Say what you're going to say so we can finish this fucking story. <laughs> Christ. They all were talking about going to this thing, and I'm just T-posing, like, because I'm not invited. Right. But they're all like talking about going. And I'm like, after the podcast, I'm like, okay, see you later. And then I was like, oh, Ludwig must be going to that to get filled up. How was it? I showed up very late because I did the German thing. I went to dinner with German that A track paid for that, which was delightful. Love that. So I show up at like 1130. I show up late, late. And, uh, and, and my only goal going there was to get drunk and hang out with Lily Pichu because she's like, hey, we should hang out and get drunk. And I said, sounds great, Lily. And I show up and I immediately start chugging soju bottles because it's all they have is like 50 soju bottles and everyone has their own. And it's like the ones that yeah. you're supposed to. So I'm like, all right. So I just start chugging a soju bottle, talk a bit, hang out, whatever. And then 
while I'm standing there chatting, uh, who walks over but Will Neff, who says, doubles in Melee? Right now. It's me and Noah. He was talking shit on the pod. In on Melee? Pod. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what... No, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, Smash. Ultimate. I, ultimate. ultimate. <laughs> oh. Because it's like, I was like, in Melee? I was like, that's just a bad... Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> ultimate. Because like any party that you, that you go to that has like any semblance of nerds, We'll have a Smash Ultimate setup. Will is also he he challenged me and Aiden to Mario Strikers. He's competitive and he backs it up in anything physical and anything involving gaming. He's very underwhelming. I think that's yeah. safe to say. Yeah. Well, he got they got. Yeah, we played, up if we played flag football, he's gonna dice my shit. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, uh, and <laughs> well. Uh, and, uh, and so they have the ultimate setup, and it's like on their big seventy-five inch TV, and it has like fifteen milliseconds of delay, whatever. And so he's, he's like, you want to play? And I look over and it's like, I'm talking with Carl and I'm like, Carl, you want to do it? He's like, he's like, yeah, Carl man, let's Jacobs? do it. Yeah, Carl Jacobs. Hmm. And so it's me and Carl against Will Neff and Noah no. J. And it's a best of three in ultimate. And, uh, and immediately it Our starts items on? and uh, items are off and it's doubles. But I immediately notice that they picked King K. Rule and Mewtwo and their strategy is that they turned team attack off. Ooh, bro. Oh, which is cringe. So because he's throwing him through his teammate. Oh. And, and more worse is King K. Rule. He throws his hat and oh. it comes, it, it's a boomerang. And it comes back and yeah. then he throws a cannonball and it goes through his teammate. And his teammate is right in front of us, like dash attacking and brawling and, and shielding. Yeah. And uh, but then I just get hit by a projectile. And I'm like, this is cringe. You're playing the grape ape. And I'm playing the I'm playing the great ape. I'm playing Donkey Kong. <laughs> and Carl's playing villager. And he, he's pretty new. So he's just kind of like tree. <laughs> and he's like I'm doing my thing I'm like keep it up Carl uh, and, uh, and Will's also bad Because he's just throwing hats And Noah's actually pretty competent He's played like I guess a lot of it uh, And so we win game one Game two goes down to me One stock Them four stocks And miraculously I managed to get two stocks off of them They hit me It does that Smash Ultimate thing Where it goes Psh, And it looks like I'm about to die Be dumb. They pop off While they pop off I return Dash attack They fall off stage I kill Noah and then I 1v1 Will at, at like 100 plus percent. I just beat him. Oh, Dude, let's go. It was so tight. The most like insane go. comeback. That is very sick. Uh, Get the VOD. And, and, and I was, it was great because during all this, they're like, aren't you the Smash guy? Ah, I hate this. I, I know. hate this. It's I visceral. Know. I hate this. It's visceral. I know. <sighs> it's visceral. I hate it. Also, a secret lore, not secret, on the fucking pod or like that I did with them, I was talking about, I brought up Melee and I was like, yeah, Melee's just, it's the best game. And then Will starts going, do you really think that, like, if you're playing melee at a high level, you're cheating? And I was like, what are you talking what about? Is that? Like, How do you wave dash? And like, you air dodge into the ground. Oh, you air dodge into the ground. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I fucking hate this. He's just hating for no reason yeah. on melee. Thinks he's based at ultimate. This is, wait, this is just you. Hating for no reason, yeah. thinks you're based anyway. This is all just you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually me by myself in my room. Not about it. <laughs> it's just doing a Will Neff voice in the uh, mirror. <laughs> yeah, so so they uh, they immediately are like best of five, and I'm really hesitant. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know man. Wait, like, maybe middle of the set, changing it to best of five? After we w I win the best of three, they're like, best of five. Oh, I'm I, like, I've learned to never accept those. Just say new best of three. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about all that. And then and then I'm like, Tina's there. I'm like, Tina, what do you think? She's like, I don't want to watch more Smash. <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah. I'm a normal person. <laughs> all right. And so we boot up the best of five, and, and it gets sweaty. Like, Noah changes his character. He's rocking like the Wii Fit trainer. Oh. And he starts going a little crazy. He's unedge guardable, and we suddenly end up in a game five situation that we lose. And all of a sudden, I went from hero to like kind of uh, disheveled. You, I'm looking over at Carl, and he's like, "I can keep making the trees and chopping them if you want, but <laughs> this is about all I got." <laughs> we have a lot of wood, and I got like he's sweating. There's he's six like, total stocks. I got like is five team taken. Attack still off. This uh, whole the time? whole time, and anytime I bring it up, they're like, "Shut up, nerd!" And then, and then anytime they win, they're like, "Smash guy," which is annoying because I can only lose. When I you played do like this. twenty hours of ultimate exactly, and so yeah. I'm like, the only way to win is winning. So I'm like, fine, best of seven, and you know, I win one, <laughs> I win one, lose one. I go game seven. I I brought like my fox out at work. I switch back to Donkey Kong game seven. I lose again, and I'm like, oh, fine. I just like I SD because like I'm trying to oh, up B, but the, there's delay and it's so gross. And everything sucks. And uh, are you playing a GameCube controller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, and they they pop off. They pop off, and I'm mad at this point. Yeah, I'm fucking annoyed because they because they're doing team attack off. They're playing like cringe lords, and they're like <laughs> like literally like yelling when they win, and they're went. calling me Smash I guy. I went with you, man. It's uh, it's losses all the way around. And then finally, I'm like like no, what ten thousand dollar money match right now? Oh, and he's like he's like I have to think about this. And like Noah J is like, if you don't know, Call of Duty YouTuber, Zombies guy. He has like 5 million subscribers. He's, 
He's well off. He can, he, he can he's what, what I didn't know is also pretty competent at ultimate plays like a lot at house parties with friends no. and I have smash guy tenure, but I've only ever played melee and I don't even play that game. And for uh, those who don't understand, it is significantly different. Yes. It, it is I like so not, it doesn't look different when you're watching them, so but different. it is different. Yeah. You need to know matchups. Yeah. Uh, and, there's and, a so, lot of them. and so he's like, he's like, yeah, I'll do it. And we do best of one. What? Best of one. Why did you? Why did you do it like that? Because we had to go. We were supposed uh, to leave after 10, the best of seven. Best of one. Bro, you're sick. We were supposed to leave. You're after so the best sick, of seven. actually. So I say ten thousand dollars best of one. He agrees to it. He does. We fit trainer. I go Donkey Kong, and we hop in. It's like some FD stage, but I think there's a Pokemon from Pearl in there, and uh, and then it, it starts out like we're both at one hundred twenty percent. He gets the first kill, and I'm like, fine, I'll come back. I'll kill him easy. And I'm realizing how the fuck do I kill his Donkey Kong? And the only <laughs> thing I've kind of figured out is like I can side B and it puts his head in the dirt and then I go ooh and then he explodes. Wait, who's he playing? Sorry. He's playing We Fit Trainer. Male or female? Uh, he's playing female We Fit Trainer and he keeps going son and he gets health back I think and I'm like how are you getting health back? And he's like you know how I'm getting health back. I'm like no I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then every time he's like off stage he goes <laughs> and I can't edge guard for shit, and I keep trying to stomp, and I end up losing. Oh, and I'm so dude. mad. I'm so bitter. I went from this hero who won the best of three to losing as a Smash guy, and uh, and like I, I'm trying to leave now. I'm sad. Will comes up. He's like, bro, I just want to say like I love you, man. I'm like, I don't kill yourself. Oh, that's <laughs> the worst thing to say. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my man's face, bro. It's cutie driving home, and I'm in the uh, seat. She's like, she's like, she's like, it happens. I'm like, yeah, it happens. And I immediately put. Uh, Noah in a group chat with Nick Wang who does all of our accounting <laughs> and then I say and I say yo Nick we got to pay this guy 10k and then uh, he goes uh, can I ask and like before his message even sends I go don't ask uh, and, uh, and then Noah starts ch typing he's like uh, this is the info you need and then and then Nick's like what is it what is it and I find him like okay we played ultimate money match and he won it was ten thousand dollars and then Nick Wang he like takes a while to reply and he goes wait I woke up because I thought this was an emergency. Oh, you're such you a dick. You woke me up for a $10,000 money match when you could have just said, run it back. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, that's so tight. I love Nick Wayne. Kind of base. Our finance guy is tight. Yeah. Kind of base. <laughs> I, I, I love how the, everyone we've picked up is a fucking, is a dyed in the wool gamer. So in this group this chat. It's like Mango's mom saying like, if you lose a fight, don't come home. Don't come home. <laughs> right. Like, you woke me up when you lost. <laughs> yeah. In this group chat, I then say with Noah in it, uh, I say, all right, run it back. And I looked at the date and it was like the 18th, the day of the party. So I was like, okay, 18th of January, double or nothing. 20k if you win, zero dollars if you lose. Dude, I think that's. Uh, and it's the exact day of Genesis. Genesis. I was gonna oh. say, I think it's Genesis oh. nine. So I, I said we're gonna do it at Genesis. We're gonna stream it because I have a booth at Genesis, and yeah. it's gonna be the twenty thousand dollar money match. Yo. And it's gonna be an ultimate. And so I have Surely to get it's not best good at one. ultimate. We'll do first of five. Okay. And I have to get good at ultimate Dude. in that time. That is so gonna, hype. I'm so proud of you. Are you gonna keep playing Donkey Kong? I think I'm going to switch and I'm going to be a dirty Pyra Mithra main. Yeah. Yucky. Just, no, be yeah. the ape. You can do it. No. I don't no. think the ape is bad, but the ape is usually based off just cargo. Dude, what if he comes back with stage Steve? Or ding donging? <gasps> Dude, if he's Steve, I'm you also <laughs> want, <laughs> saw the fear part of me right. also kind of wants to do Fox. Fox or Pyra Mithra. You should just hit up light and be like, coach me. I think. Or I, is that dog? I don't think it's a dog. I'm going to train dog? my ass off. He probably has access to. Same I'm either going to train my ass off or do nothing until the day of. Don't do ah, that. Yes, the two love, winning strategies. Love been number. Those are the two options that I'm... Love been. I'm I've, I've done the second thing my whole melee career. No, and guess I, what? I don't have any good wins. Graves, well, no. Graves. Polka. Graves. Uh, Graves, sorry. Yeah, yeah Graves. And, oh, and, Yen, uh, and Yen last night. <laughs> Well, that's pretty I impressive. I put Yan on a fucking... Come on, I put, him on a, I put him on a Goodyear blimp. I don't even know Yan's last tournament. Yan hasn't even been playing because his hands hurt, man. Yan was putting man. H Rock in the ground, and then I show. Yeah. I sit down on the setup, my creaky old dusty-ass hands, and I did shit to him on Dreamland that they only speak about in oh, so I, I sat at the legend. setup with Yan and Shake. Yan and Shake, I'm like, I've, I've got time. While Omsa H Box is happening, I can get two games in. Bust out the Falco. Whoop Yan. Bust out the Marth. Whoop Shake. <laughs> Leave. Shaky D? Shaky yeah. D gets busted Shake by Shake talking lot, so much shit. Yeah. Shaky it, it's, D? Shake, it's never great when we, we, <laughs> we're on the setup. We did doubles after the, um, the, the, the comedy party, and uh, fucking <laughs> Yan was just running. Like, whatever team he, he was on, he would win. 
So it was Nick Allen and Yan, and they were just running the setup. And then he was talking. You know how Nick Allen gets. I actually don't. He, I've never played melee with him. He chirps. He, yeah. He he's a chirps. chirper. Really? Yeah. The, problem, you know, the problem with Nick Allen chirping, too, is he's actually getting good. He is Because he's been good. playing a lot. Did you guys know he played Marvel 2? Uh, he, yeah. He's 47, yeah. No, bro. I didn't know that. <laughs> but that's, like, still he crazy. He played Pro Quake. He was the first one. That's shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, no, Nick Allen played, he told me that the other night that he played Marvel 2. I was like, okay, now I really respect you. Yeah, I, I think it was, I think it was, not, no shade to Nick Allen, but I think it was Aiden telling me like, dude, Nick Allen's gotten like, like a lot better. Like you should play him. Yes. And it was at the, the Vegas tournament. And I'm like, all right, Nick, I walk over I'm like, all right, Nick, we got to play. <laughs> we played And I think I, I don't think I dropped a stock in any games we played. And then he got up and he's just like, he, I think he said to Aiden or someone, he's like, I don't know what Dick, Dick's different in my brain. Like, I don't know what it is. I just can't hit him. I just can't hit him. And I'm just like, I just, play, Falco I just play Falco. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Beep, 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 yeah. Beep. Yeah, he's fifth in sack in uh, his most recent local. Yeah, he's got been fifth. going to locals. Let's go. Oh, let's say, there you go. Uh, but I, I had him switch. I was like, Gans on my team now, and he's like, All right, doesn't matter. And then <laughs> he thought I he mean, was the one with Yan on my team. You know why? No way Yen, to lose. Yan tells you when to smoke, where to smoke. Who's the he fourth tells you person? When to push. Who's the fourth person? I think the fourth person was Shaky D, and he's playing or Marth. Shaky D. No, no, it was Nick Wang, and he's. I think it was Nick Allen, Nick Wang against me and Yan. Is Nick Wang not better than Yan? Nick Wang's very good. He's pretty good. I thought he was really, really good. Is he not like he's very he's good? Not, I don't think he's like that many release. Oh, but he's pretty good. Okay. He's pretty good, and he I think he's probably on par with Yan for sure. Maybe better. I don't know. He might be. He might be like. Fourth on the Mogul Moves PR with Nick Wang. Well, let's talk about it. Who is it? Who? What's the PR? I mean, here's the, it's like, this is like one of those like word problems from third grade. Cause it's like Ludwig is better than Aiden and Slime. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right? Yeah, but man. he's worse than everybody else. Yeah. yeah. No, you're, so you're then right. you have to make the chart. Right, and I'm not yeah, a gamer anymore. Right. So I'm not on there. Nick V. Oh. No, shut the fuck up. Nick V. And then oh. it goes Amen. Wait, wait. You think it should be Aiden first? Yeah. Then if it's Aiden what, first, it what? should be Ludwig. Yeah. And then I, every Aiden. every everything we could possibly measure. <laughs> no, uh, not uh, because you're not a gamer. Not friendos. What are you talking about? You don't, you don't BB in all of our friendlies play. I think friendlies is a bad metric. I know, but it's only, I, still, I don't compete. So I don't have any other metric but, right now. Well, then the measure would be your it's competition record. It's a vibe. Have you never played a tournament against each other? No. It's no. a vibe. It's I, I, I'm 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 doing the vibe PR right I, now. This is what because a lot Aiden. of people ask, and I say I, I. This is what I tell people is I think Nick. I think I'm the best right now. I think Nick and Yingling could be the best if they were playing more. Oh, isn't it Yingling? Actually, Yingling has to be no. better than everyone. Wait, no. how is Yingo not number one? Because he ha hasn't been practicing. Okay, hasn't I'm been going. Shut up, I'm doing vibes. Plays box box all the time. <laughs> Nick Yingling on controller Falco. Nick V on Puff. <laughs> On Puff. On Puff. Aiden. <laughs> Ludwig. Come on. On Puff? Ludwig. Kidding. Me. Nick Allen. No, Nick Wang. Do you still put Ludwig above you? Me. Nick Allen. Yeah. Ludwig's above me. Uh, and I'm then. A mental block on his. Uh, a sword. My Puff. My Puff's a mental block. Yeah, but I think he only. I think he's thinking about. Oh, Mike's, Mike's up only there, Only 1v1. I think I'm better <laughs> than need, Mike. We need to do a tournament. We really do, like, yeah. We should do one uh, probably the day. We should do it, I think, the day of the Valorant event, or like sometime around then, because yeah. everyone will day be there. Of the Valorant or event? we or like do the it. Day we can also do it at Genesis. Before. We got that booth. Oh, true. You know what I'm saying? We'll all booth. be there. That'd be sure. kind of fun. But we do need to do a tournament because we have like <laughs> at least 12 people who could compete. Everyone's in a, everyone can L cancel. <laughs> right? <laughs> How many people do we have? I want to see like, Anna. You mean on that the can mic, compete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got four. I think everyone, everyone in the company plays, right? Five. Besides maybe. Does Anna play? I don't know if Anna I, plays. Anna I, plays, I'm right? I'm sure she does. She, has, she, she definitely has played. She has to. I, I think I win this so easy unless Yingling starts playing Falco controller. We have so a 16 easy. person bracket. What is yeah. so easy? Like you hop on friendlies with us and you just destroy it. You, sometimes you play him and you lose half what? the games. The thing about it is enough. so easy. When's the last time he beat me? <laughs> in tournament? Never. No, 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 no. In, uh, like, we haven't played <laughs> friendos in a while. I think our last <laughs> session, I, it, was, it was even. <laughs> that was a great face. <laughs> That's you a lovely face. Hey, we'll settle it. We'll settle it. Settle in Smash. We'll settle it in Smash at the at the Mogul Moves Invitational. I think <laughs> just, whoever's I think a W two employee. I think you can win. I think Yingling can win. I think I can win. I, I think, think those are the three people that can win the tournament. I don't I know. I don't know where my adapter is. I might. I haven't had it for. I might five give months. it to you just because the Sheik buff. 
Yeah, I you, think Sheik performs better in tournament than Falco. Well, you're Falco also has, you're literally talking about you're a puff player, so you got to stop talking with your lips and your mouth. Why do you think that I'm a puff player? I'm a green fox main. Mm. You if you play do, fox, you, you are, will do worse. Yeah, you are getting shit. My on. fox will dust you. you know, literally you know, okay. you know, you know, now, <laughs> there's nothing you could do. My Marth, when maybe. you break dust into into three <laughs> syllables <laughs> like that, I know you're gonna lose I mean it too. I could, I could literally take a hundred games straight from your fox. Here's with the facts. I sat down at the setup. My puff dust Nick Allen. My fox dusted Atriox Sheik. That's when, not when true. When did you beat Nick Allen? Did you lose to Nick Allen last time? Your fox uh, beat a Sheik? We played one friend low with mains, and I beat him. When? I, when? Uh, at the German thing. Okay. That's it was at the German thing because we did one friendly, and I played fox, and he really beat me. And then I, I went fox again, and he stayed peach, and I'm like, are we doing this? Like, are you, do you not have a <laughs> secondary? And he's like, I only play peach. And so I went puff, and then he was like, this is really fun. I was like, what do you want from yeah, me? Yeah, he asked for what that. What do you want from it's me? It's also funny because he used to main a different character. So he did? did yeah, he used to main Ices. He was an Ices oh, main for no, a really okay, long time. because he did hover Ices. Did like, he get bullied? This, he said, is this better? Huh? Did he get bullied off Ices? Uh, no, he didn't go. I think he stopped oh, having fun. Dude, Nick Allen's so quirky. I didn't know. A little quirky guy. I he heard he so got quirky. into it because I, 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 he wanted, he, I think the lore is that he thought it would be funny to wobble Atrioc at work uh, when they that, were both at Twitch. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that is really funny. funny. I I wobble. He's got it. He's in. The second this office is up and running. All right, 16 man bracket, Genesis. If we need an extra fill or two, we got Sans and Atrioc. Yeah, I'm Jason. okay with that. Off brand. And uh, and winner takes winner gets Genesis? what winner gets winner gets uh, winner gets when is Genesis Genesis is 18th and 19th of January the weekend after okay Valorant what does the winner get winner gets um, winner gets a 10k salary increase no <laughs> we, we give him a t-shirt that says I am the best melee player at mobile moves yeah. yeah they they do get to say they're the best for a mural in the warehouse you, as zipper oh yeah it's like employee <laughs> of the month oh employee of the year employee of the and year and we do an annual tournament That's and they tight. get their portrait hung up and yeah, then, we get a like, commission. Yeah, I Ooh. want my I want my prize to be that and we make you, a Slack channel that, that says "Lost 2 and it's the winner's name. <laughs> yeah, I like that. No, I know what you're gonna say denied. What? What? I know what you're gonna say. No, say it. That I was gonna say that you never get to say that you're better than me or slime yeah, ever denied. again. Wait, 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 wait. To be clear, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, <laughs> why, why does lie? that not make sense? Why would it be like a prize where he has to lie? I, for that, for that? <laughs> I, I, because even I you doing this now yeah. is against the bet we made at the time. I am I'm not saying that someone's better than someone. I'm just saying there's only one person who's verifiably better than the other for six months, and it's me. Yeah, and you've but never the six been, months turned and then, over. And then he retired. You've never been verifiably better than me. For six in, months. In, right. in my competitive mm. era, you don't I, think quit. So? I quit. Ah, oh, come I quit. on. I quit. Yeah, I Our remember that. I quit, and, that's, and, and nobody fucking bats an eye. I quit, and everyone's like, oh, you didn't quit. Yes, I did. I'm a full-time content creator. Hmm? I'm a full-time content creator. So I'm you're saying at Friendsgiving, you weren't a full-time content creator. No, yeah. fuck no. I was really in a melee. That was half of it for I'm me. I'm Team Ludwig, man. I'm going to kill myself, <laughs> and it's not even about me. For him. Yeah, for you. Honestly, and here's the thing, and I'm sad about it too, COVID cut my career short. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is what did it. That I is what did it. I didn't fuck with online. I could have been somebody. I would have done some things, but I ended being better than both of you. I yeah, look. I have to hold that. We've literally played in tournament and I held it. I held it for six <laughs> months. Shake his doctor, hand, man. why would I shake your hand, oh. doctor? Oh. Doctor, doctor. He loves shaking. Oh, hands. Come on. I, he loves shaking hands, and the fact that he didn't is so big. He's because cut. because I I the the bet was not I'm better than you forever. The bet was <laughs> you. I get to say this for six months, and you don't care about the bet. Meow. Meow. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of my kit, my Discord kittens. What? How? How? How close have we gotten? Oh, to the I end got of so our much run? pee in my balls. I think we're about <laughs> ten minutes away. You I always say that. Guess. You always say that answer. <laughs> no, I know. Sometimes I say we're there. Zipper, it's time to show yeah, us the time. The, you can. Sometimes you're gonna be right. <laughs> He's oh, right. Fuck. What do you guys want from me? Like, you're I'm sorry that I respect. keep track of time. You respect. I, I'm being respectful as it gets. I wish uh, you would respect my melee skill. And you know what's funny? I messaged feet. Ludwig after the uh, after the chess boxing, and I was like, "And he said, how do you use the bald guy emoji?' That's not on what I Apple said. Apple iPhone. Okay, I, <laughs> yes, I, said, was, yes. I sent him. I sent him two things. That's embarrassing. Well, one was how do I use the bald guy yeah. emoji because he uses it all the time on Twitter, stealing my valor. No, and no, no, because you never used him. I don't know how. You don't. 
own bald people. That guy looks like me. I know, but I can't. Uh, yeah, of course. But it's not <laughs> like if I watch a movie Die Hard, you're like, that's my film. No, this is different. I think it's clearly different. And you're a fucking asshole right now. John McClane. I message him. I'm like, how do you use the bald guy emoji? Doesn't respond to me. I'm like, okay, this is normal. This is how it happens. And then I message him. Yo, thanks for letting me commentate. I know, like, we, we've we been married for so long. It probably doesn't matter. But I just, I'm consistently proud of you and all the stuff you do. Doesn't respond. The next day, I send him, uh, how do I use the bald guy emoji <laughs> again? <laughs> And then he answers. And I got him on the ball guy. And now I know how to use it. And he's just like, <laughs> when he's like biting his nails, that's a funny one. Yeah, I got it. Did you see the ones that I put on the screen? Yeah, how did you do that? I'll send it to Zipper for, for little posterity. Little stickers? Yeah, the stick, you can like flick them up and then put stickers on the thing. But, Who you is know. this all? I'm this learning. All I'm learning a Anthony? lot right now. Can I send him this? Yeah. I wonder if it can. I'm sending you Zipper. Right. What? Because <laughs> because he put them all over like stickers. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so funny. How do I? I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, that was. Um, the, I'm glad that you learned how to use the ball guy. Yeah. Th thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was me replying to the stickers. So you can just stamp them on the conversation. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah, know yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> and you get the ball. <laughs> I sent him like a video, and I was like, "What's up, pussy?" <laughs> yeah. And I was the bald guy. Uh, and then shit. you did the bald ahagao face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, so what did, what did we learn today? Oh, oh man. Um, Aiden's mom. Aiden's mom, well, She's you get turned out on the regular. Mm -hmm. Nick you may or may not be the best gamer at Mogul Moves in terms of melee skill. I'll accept that. May or <laughs> may not. Um, Yan's on the come up. I'm, I'm saying it right. Yan's right on now. the come up. <laughs> Yan's on the come up. I, you I know what's that. funny is I think if Yan, I've always asked Yan why he won't play, and he's just he basically says like I, my hands just can't take it. I think Yan could be so good at melee if he put the same amount of time into it that he put into CS. Yeah, or Valorant. Yeah, I think he, he has got the he's got the sauce. My hands get hurt too. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Oh, no, I get it, man. Now that when I play you, a lot of puff, when I you, get it. <laughs> Ludwig Jr. Yeah. When, Ludwig, when Ludwig top platform camped you at our house tournament, I thought his hands might be hurting. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> and you don't uh, respect that. Dude, I beat Zeke at that tournament, and he I think I put him I put him in retirement for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> he did not like losing to my Falcon at that house like, tournament. Like, oh, okay. I thought you meant way like, back. Yeah. Also, Zeke got on the couch. It was so funny. Zeke is a lovely person and one of our best friends. But he, we we're like, uh, me and Aiden were like, just get on the couch. Like he works for Golden Guardians. He's commentated before. He's funny. He's a cute bear. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're like, just get on, just like Phil. And he's like, no, dude, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. We're like, get the fuck he's on the so couch. He's being so cringe about it. He's great. I even told him. And then he gets on, and people are like, wow, this guy rules. And it's like, yeah, god damn it. He's so Love cringe. yourself for two you know fucking what, seconds. Though? He. Crazy got a fucking NBA championship ring. I know. Do you guys see it? Yeah. yeah. It looks insane. It's, it's like nine thousand dollars. Anna took a picture with his ring. Yeah. It's so funny. It, it's so big in gold and has diamonds. It I says was, his name on it. I was thinking about this. Do you think it's? Do you think it's fucked up if Zeke gets one, and like the Chase Center janitor doesn't get one? They do. I think so. They everybody. Do? Yeah. Everybody's able to get one who's an employee of Golden Guardians. Yeah. Or uh, the Golden Warriors or any like subsidiary, uh, as long as they're a full time employee and they have to pay taxes on it. Yeah, but they get it for maybe free. not the janitor of the stadium they played at. I, not the, not yeah, like they Golden don't get Guardians a Justin employee. Bieber necklace. I imagine yeah. if they're if <laughs> if the janitor is an employee of Golden Guardians. No, I'm saying he's at the Chase Center. Like, I wonder like, if yeah, they're like, own. Well, no I, way I mean, they old. They no way Golden Guardians owns the fucking. It's too much to have an employee. Chase Center. Yeah. You don't think contractors? Don't think so. Contractors are probably not. I feel efficient. like it's usually they do. They do right. They don't own. Chase doesn't, I guess I don't know shit. Wait, Chase doesn't own it either. Somebody owns I'm the venue. The Golden. We can look it up. Who owns the Chase Center? Who gets ranked? Zebar. But well, I just okay. thought it was funny that like the whole gaming squad, like in a, that company, they employ a lot of people, right? Right. And they all catch a ring because Steph popped yeah, up. Yeah, Zeke was saying. Yeah. Oh, well, they own it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Then so they probably maybe. do. I'm thinking they all got yeah, that's rings. Sick. That's oh. tight. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. But, but Zeke okay. was saying, he's like, I'm going to give it to my dad. And he's like, he's like, my dad's probably going to pawn it. And it's like, well, why give it to him? He's like, no, no, no. It's really funny. If my dad pawns my Golden State Warriors champ This is uncut ring. gems. And then you <laughs> check the back in yeah. in like six months. Like, hey, dad, how's the ring? 
And he's like, I don't know, but this send me seven your favorite grand picture good. with the ring <laughs> that you've taken today. He just sends him the, a spread pic. <laughs> You'd lose so much. You get such little return. Yeah, on and it also it. says Ezekiel on it, right? Which is really. I funny. feel like that shit pawns for like four hundred dollars. It's probably like one to two grand. That, I imagine. That's why you got no, to eBay he posted it. the. He posted the value, right? No, the but I don't think nine k. Oh, that's not what shit for its real value. You pawn shit for like less than a half. Especially if it has Ezekiel on it. Especially there is a Golden uh, a Warriors fan named Ezekiel somewhere who will pay nine grand for that. Well, <laughs> wait, is there a name on the ring? Yeah, Zeke's yeah. Is, yeah. It's in it like Ezekiel. Oh, really? It. Yeah. It's like etched in. It's really funny. It looks oh, tight. That is very we funny. We need championship rings. I put it on. It's a little big. Yard uh, championship ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just, that's for the, no, that's we've for the, just uh, won the nothing <laughs> for yeah, the tournament. Oh, get him a giant oh, ass ring. Wow. That's hype. That is hype. I don't think they're that expensive to make if you. Well, I guess it's probably hard to order one. I think those, just, those, like those are expensive thing. to make. Like fake ones are cheaper. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, just metal, not diamond encrusted uh, shit. Yeah, but man, we'll see. We'll, we, we find, we'll find more creative ways to waste money. <laughs> we're doing 20, good. We're doing world, good on creative world, ways to waste money. 2023, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting all spending. You mm -hmm. are cutting the spending. Yes, sir. You don't know what we spend yes, sir. on. Dialing you don't know back. anything. I'm dialing it back. You're, you're going to dial it back. I'm dialing it back. You're saying it like, like, we are begging for that to not happen. You still don't know how to log into the bank account. I you do. No. I uh, yeah. One DM to Nick Wang. <laughs> <laughs> That's called knowledge. And it used to be me. Knowledge is knowing who to hit up and when. I it's no, it's knowing guy. how little you don't know. He is actually different because if you said that to me, I'd be a little annoyed at you about the 10K uh, money match. But Nick Wang is like, run that shit back. Boss man, and he also knows that it's going to be zero bucks owed. I, I, you know what? I do have an unfathomable rage for now is I, I want to beat those two in doubles. Wait, who? <laughs> You're thinking oh, about it, Will, Noah and Will. Yeah, because that, that is so egregious. Uh, do it, Aiden. You you should, know, guys, go and listen to the fear and part where he talks about melee. It's fucking disgusting. Look, I'm like leaping out of my chair. It, it's just casuals when it comes to Smash. A wave dash? Are you kidding me? It's a different breed. It's a different game to them. And Noah should, Noah should know better. That's why I'm upset. Yeah. He should know better than turning Team Attack off. But wait, whatever helps him. You know, I almost got in trouble in my improv troupe in college. We, uh, we, had like a, we brought out a melee setup because I was like just getting into it because um, that's college is when I started Smash 2. Uh, and so we were, we were playing some games, like the four of us, four guys, like after some rehearsal, whatever. Uh, and I'm like winning against everybody, and then like the idea comes up, like, "Hey, could you win a one v 3 Oh yeah, oh you've you, this before. yeah, yeah. And, I, and so we tried it, and then I lose the first one, and then I'm like, I get competitive, I'm like, run oh, it back yeah. twenty bucks. Yeah, and, and they thought you hustled them, and then I beat, I beat him, and then he thought I, he called me the next day. He's like, you, "It's not cool that you hustled us." And I was like, I it was last stock, last hit. I'm like, I need to hustle you. It's also twenty between three people. I also I just well, <laughs> I, think, that's, I think that's it's a twenty. It was twenty for each. Did, did I tell you, guys, did oh, I tell you okay. guys that the point crow uh, thing? I I fucking I almost lost six hundred dollars playing pool. What? Really? I didn't tell you guys. You got hustled? Yeah. Well, no, I didn't get hustled. They thought I was hustling because they ever, we were all playing pool and it was like crank gameplays. Doug Doug, uh, point crow was was there merc lurking around. But basically, everyone just started playing pool, and I'm like, anyone want to throw some bread on this? Because that's the only thing that gets my fucking dopamine firing. And um, I played against. Who was it? It was Doug Doug. And we play a, a pool match for $300. He had to think about it. He's, he's like, I don't know, man. He's really cool. He's like, I don't know, man. And then he, he finally says, yes, I smoke him. I'm not good at pool. We're just all bad. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Ethan, Crank Gameplays, is like, I'll play you. And he's like, double or nothing. Because he, he basically, before, I vet, before Doug Venmo's me, he's like, hold on. I'll play you for 600 I was like, fucking okay. And then, uh, and then he did. And it was just like this fucking buzzer beater. Last round and um, you and clutch, he, and I did not clutch. Do you lost money? So I ended up zeroing out. Oh, it was it was two. It was Doug Doug back to back. He lost six hundred to me, and then I lost that six hundred to Ethan. Oh, but you could have had twelve hundred. So I, I, I zeroed out. Yeah, Ooh. I could have had a hot twelve. Ooh, that would And I was like, this is fun. Dude, we we went for the fucking uh, mogul moves company dinner. Oh my! We Nick went Allen. to a bowling alley after, and uh, and it was this is I don't know where we were. This is the worst arcade I have ever been to in my life. It was an arcade bowling alley. And literally every game, every arcade game doesn't work. So, <laughs> so like maybe I'm going to try to, this is a very accurate number, I think. I think about 40% of the arcade games were either shut off, set out of order, or didn't work. And the other ones that did work were just like the worst. Fuck. Like the only good game that was working was like basketball, which 
one of them didn't count points. <laughs> and then <laughs> you, had to, you had to manually. And remember. then Mario Kart was working. And then everything else didn't work. Basketball was great, though. Yeah, basketball is fire. Crush rat sets, uh, each hit. So we, <laughs> so we go to bowling, and I think I'm pretty good at bowling. Uh, so I, I haven't done it in a while, but I, I think I'm pretty good at bowling. So we go, and uh, we, we have so many people that we had to play across four lanes. So I look over, and on lane one is Nick Allen, Ludwig, a bunch of people. And I'm on this other lane, and uh, I have a pretty bad game. I bowl, like, I, I bowl like 99 or something. I don't, I don't do very well. I look over, and Nick Allen has 150. And yeah, I'm, I'm well, instantly like, dude, and he's, he's pretty drunk. I'm like, he's not like wasted, but I'm talking to him and I'm like, Nick Allen's drunk and he bowls 150 and I'm like, he's kind of a beast. And I tell Anthony this and Anthony goes, oh, I, I dust 150. Yeah. Anthony I says, I dust no, 150. You don't beat Nick Allen. Nick Allen's the greatest bowler to ever touch I a game. Smoke okay. I can smoke him. Dude, ask so Mike what happened when we went and played pinball and bowled. Mike, I made Mike have a bad time. Here's the thing. <laughs> Nick Allen, we <laughs> all put in $20, eight of us uh, on, on like the two lanes on the left. Winner takes all. I was just goading everybody. I was like, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. And so everyone's like, yeah, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. And, uh, and it starts out fine. It starts out fine. Even at one point, you were doing okay because you walked over and you were like, you're like, hey, maybe like good boys go to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're Cause all I'm, cocky. Because I was be beating everyone on my lane. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was like, hey, realized, good boys move to the right. You realize you were just playing JV hoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the second I looked over, I saw what he had. I'm like, holy, f I'm like the bottom seed in the right side right now. Because I thought I was crushing. I had like, I had like 105, which is like triple digits. I feel great. That's so bad. And, in a whole game? And uh, for, yeah, all 10 frames. Yeah, that's bad. And well, then Nick, Nick drops the, well, the 150, so he wins like 140 bucks. And so I get mad. I'm like, all right, one bowl, double or nothing, everything. So like I would get one frame. Yeah, one, like one ball. That is one ball. Why do you always reduce Why? it down to one? Because I have a better hype? chance to win. So <laughs> I think I'm clutch in one uh. moment. So I go first and it's, it's like 140 bucks. I double his money or I get to take it all. And I bowl and it, I get nine. It's like a juicy right down the center. Just one pin. I'm like, great. Lovely. And then Nick Allen, he's like drunk as shit. He walks over and he's like, he's like, all right, he picks up the ball. And, he, and he, the way he throws it is he doesn't put his fingers in the hole. He grabs it like a palming a basketball. Yeah. And then he spins it yeah. a shit ton. And it curves like we bowling. Yeah. It's and, like but, but, it's like, yeah it's and, like, so he did it. And it, it had this beautiful arc. It actually went so far right that it looked like it was going to go in the gutter. It was like halfway on the gutter, halfway on the, the track. It stays on. It curves back in. And it goes just at like perfect 7-10 split or whatever you call that shit. And it just knocks down all 10 strike. After I hit nine. And he just pops off on me. That's so and he's the tight. greatest bowler I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Dude, Nick Yingling, he throws the ball the same way. He holds it with like his whole arm. Puts, doesn't put his fingers yeah, in the yeah, hole. Yeah, it's called the spun. And then, he, and then he spins it. I kept, I kept going, I'm like, Yingling, use the holes. Use the holes. And he goes, no, it's not fun. I don't like using the holes. It's not fun. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what does that mean to not like, like, it's not fun to not use the holes. And when we first got there, Yingling, he wasn't getting strikes, but he looked like a pro bowler. I don't know how to describe it. Like the way he was going up, the way he was throwing, it all, it never guttered. And it was like, he was spinning it to the middle. And I'm like, is he nice? And he progressively got so much worse as the day went on where he just kept throwing him right into the gutter over and over. He got so mad. He tilt throws one while the thing is still down. Ooh. And he fucking nails it. And then it just bounces back to him. The ball comes all the way back down. <laughs> it comes back to him. He just doesn't even care. He just tilt throws it again. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was a good time. It was fun seeing how everyone gets down. Yeah. Shout out to Anna for uh for making us go out and not be gamers in a warehouse. Um, and that's shout out to you guys for watching the Yard podcast. Welcome to the Yard. It's episode eighty three. Everybody, uh, intro at the, the end. Thank Welcome you, to the Yard. Thank you for watching. Uh, tune into the Patreon episode. Where It'll just be Chuckle Sandwich. We are being yeah. replaced this by Chuckle the Sandwich. Epi the episode in the Patreon is just a whole episode of them. So thank you to Jay Schlapp behind the cam. <laughs> He's gonna come on in a second. Tune in for those boys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Seems pushing Perry, fucking quit video games, Quentin. Yeah. Ass yeah. Aiden. I am, I am Quentin. <laughs> that's, that's it? That's all you got? Still plays, just ass Aiden. <laughs> also, 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 haven't been.